In this video, we're going to look at finding the equation of a tangent line to an inverse trig function, namely the function y equals 1 half arc cosine x, which you should recognize is the same as 1 half times cosine inverse of x. Okay, well, we know that to find tangent line, you need to know the slope and a point. All right, so I need to find the slope of this function at x equals negative 1 square root of 2 divided by 2. To find the slope, I'm going to have to find the derivative. So this leaves me with the problem of finding ddx, or the derivative of arc 1 half, arc cosine x. All right, so derivative of arc cosine, derivative of cosine inverse. So I'll pull the 1 half out front. The derivative is negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus the inside function squared. So lucky for us, the inside function is just x on this. So that kind of means there's no chain rule going on with this. Uh, pretty lucky for us. Okay, so the derivative is equal to negative 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now I have to find the derivative evaluated at negative square root of 2 over 2. So that comes out to negative 1 divided by 2 times the square root of 1 minus the negative square root of 2 over 2 squared. Lucky for us, we're squaring down there, so that's going to get rid of the top square root, giving me just 2, and then the squared uh, distributes to the bottom as well. So it's 1 over 2 fourths, so I have negative 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 half. Okay, 1 half because we've got 1 minus 1 half right there. So how do we simplify that? I have the square root distributes to the top and the bottom, so I have negative 1 over 2 times 1 square roots of 2. If you rationalize the denominator on that, you're going to end up with 2 times the square root of 2 over 2 which now I have negative 1 over the square root of 2 after those 2's cancel out. So that is the slope of our function at our x value in question. Okay, so that's our slope. Now let's work on finding the equation of the tangent line. It's y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times x minus x sub 1, which is negative square root of 2 over 2. All right, let's try and work on this right side here and distribute in uh, my negative 1 over square root of 2. This becomes positive from the two negatives, but then I have to multiply by a negative. So I have 1 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 over 2. And what do you know? The square roots cancel out. Okay, so I have negative 1 over square root of 2 times x minus one half. And then over on my left side, I have y minus 3 pi over 8. And you know, it's perfectly fine to just leave the equation of the line like this. I don't want to continue further because I'd have to add the 3 pi over 8 and add that to negative 1 half, and that's just going to have to be a decimal. We won't really combine it very much. So it's a little bit nicer form like this. All right, there we go. Found the derivative of an inverse trigonometric function in order to find the equation of a tangent line.